What if I told you worthy men are wired to seek certain qualities in a mate, and when they find them at a high degree of intensity, they're willing to move earth and sky to be with that woman? Well, in today's video, I'm going to dissect them one by one so you can own them in your own personal and unique way and become the one he can't afford to let go. Now, before I share the qualities that men crave like oxygen, like bees crave honey, I want you to understand the mindset and the framework without which you won't be able to sustainably activate them and they won't work. I want to make sure that this is a video that you don't just feel a hot bath and then after the video you felt great but nothing changed. I want to make sure this is a video that literally changes the course of your life and this can happen. I know it's a high promise but for that to happen I need you to make two commitments today. If you make these two commitments life will change very quickly for you on the love round. The first one is I need you to raise your standard in terms of the type of guy you're going for and I'm not asking you to raise your standard in terms of a tall, strong, handsome, seductive man, I need you to add to your criteria. He must, when I show up my fullest, be able to see it and crave it and go all in on who I am. Because here's the truth. If you show up in the way I'm going to share with you right now, and the guy is still lukewarm about you, he's still wishy-washy. This isn't about how to double down and let him see your greatness if he doesn't have it in him to see you. I want to make sure that when you show up in the best way, showing these virtues that I'm about to share with you, that if the guy still can't see your greatness, that you raise your standards and say, if he can't see me in my full light, then I don't want him. I want a guy who's intelligent and conscious enough and compatible enough that when I show myself and my highest self, he's going to be incredibly activated to pursue me and to want a relationship with me. And trust me, if you continue showing up this way, there will be plenty of guys who show up that way. Now, the second standard I need you to raise is the standard for how you show up. Because it's hard for a guy to see your greatness when you are dimming down your light, when you are not expressing your uniqueness, when you're trying to be safe or vanilla for everyone to like you, but nobody really finds you incredibly appealing because you're trying to be everything for everyone. So I need you to raise your standard in terms of how awesome, how connected, how intense in the best of ways you're going to show up in this quest, not for the guy, but for the quality of life you want. The five virtues I'm going to share with you right now are not a trick to get the guy. They are part of what is going to make your life a more incredible life. And it also happens that guys are going to feel very compelled, very captivated, and feel incredibly irresistible towards that type of energy. The first virtue that men crave like oxygen is light. And here is the truth. No man is going to come to you and say, I want to feel light. No man is going to say that. However, here's what guys will do or not do. They'll feel activated to pursue you or they won't. And the number one factor that's going to more quickly than not allow them to be activated is the feeling of aliveness that they get while in your presence. So you don't have to dance the dance. You don't have to do anything other than show up in your strong, connected, full, radiant self for him to feel that. He can feel that from a mile away. He can enter a restaurant engage with his energy. Where is the woman that has the most sense of light? Why? Because he's going to feel activated and alive. So how do you do this? You fall in love with your own life. You do things that make you feel happy and create meaning and create a feeling of satisfaction in the best of ways. You do things that are challenging. You overcome challenges. When you show up as if you have one week to leave, when you show up with that level of courage and commitment and intensity, guys are going to feel a strong, visceral, feeling that doesn't come by all the time. Women in cities like New York, for example, where there's so many human beings say nobody looks at you when you're walking down the street, nobody connects eye to eye. And the truth is, if you show up with slightly more radiance than most people, which is not hard to do, people will connect with you. The second quality men crave like oxygen is boundaries. Now you might be saying, Bern, you've lost it right now. Guys don't want boundaries. They just want to have sex. They just want to connect with me. No, if the guy is intelligent and worthy, he may not know he wants boundaries, but he's certainly looking for worth. He doesn't want a pushover. He doesn't want someone that all guys can use and abuse. He wants someone who's willing to say no to him. He wants someone who's willing to say, here's the things I need to proceed in all these areas. Why? Because selfishly and unconsciously, when you show up that way, he is more valuable. He is the guy who had the tenacity, who had the courage, who had the discipline, who had the emotional connection to be able to unlock the doors to the magic kingdom of your heart. So the more you show up, not in gimmicky ways, but because you truly have standards in ways where you're saying, here is where I draw the line and here's what's possible, the more he's going to find that value in you. And when he finds that value in you through your boundaries, 
he's going to want to connect with that awesome human being that not everybody can have. Third thing that men are craving like oxygen is a sense of embodiment. I'll describe a little bit more what this means. It means you are willing to take up space. It means that you're unapologetic in your uniqueness. It means that you love your body as it is. You might want to make some changes like we all do, but foundationally, you know that it's a gift. It's a treasure. You know that you're not looking down on anyone. You're not looking up at anyone either. You're saying, here I am. This is an incredible gift that I'm offering right now in terms of possibilities if you play your cards right. And if you don't want to take this, that's totally understandable. Somebody else will. You're willing to understand, not intellectually, but from your heart and body and stance and walk and breath, how valuable you are. There's something irresistible about a woman who, imperfect as she might be, is completely connected to her senses. And it's aware of the incredible gift that she offers when she shows up in fullness, when she shows up embodied, fully embodied. Now, before I share my last two virtues with you, which are really important to consider and step into, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet you're not aware of the root cause while you're still single. You may know the symptoms, but not the root cause. What I've done is I've taken 13 years of guiding women in every walk of life, every kind of love challenge, five continents to create the connection they've been craving for years when nothing else was working. And I've created a quiz based on those learnings to share with you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description, you will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and within 60 seconds, you'll have two things. The answer to the elusive question why you're still single and a custom report based on your unique blind spot that will share with you the number one thing you can do to get the guy you want in a fraction of the time. The fourth quality that men are craving like oxygen is the emotional space to be vulnerable. The emotional space to have a sanctuary of holy openness through which they can reveal themselves in ways that they don't reveal with the world. We men tend to keep things closer to our chest than many women. We are more afraid of expressing our vulnerabilities because we haven't learned that from an early age than most women. So when we find someone who's safe enough Enough, can see us, can hold that sacred space for us to express ourselves. That's something we've been craving our entire life. The fifth virtue that men crave like oxygen is your openness and your vulnerability to be helped so we can add value. At the end of the day, if you think about it, he wants to be your hero in any way, shape or form he can. And when he's met with, this is as far as you can go, I don't need you, don't help me, not because you don't think his help is useful, but because you're afraid of losing some level of power or control or because you feel he'll have one up on you, then you're missing on the chance of him feeling the vulnerability needed in you for him to activate even stronger into a level of protection and commitment that will stand the test of time and allow him to go through hurdles to be able to be with you. He wants to add value to your life. So the willingness and openness and vulnerability on your side of things, not for everything, but for some things where he can really add value, he can feel the need that you have for him and how he adds value to your life, the more he, he'll be willing to move earth and sky to be with you. Now I'm going to share a sixth bonus need that men have to fully go all in on someone. And it's a dance. It's the dance between distance and closeness. It's not a science, it's an art. And that means too much closeness goes into the law of familiarity where he takes you for granted, you take him for granted. Too much distance and there's not enough connection to keep things going. The right balance of closeness and distance where he can see you in your element, where he can see you taking part in the world, where you can connect with your own world where perhaps you'll take a trip on your own, you come back, he missed you a little bit. That play, that beautiful play between closeness and distance is the magic that can maintain passion for years and years versus becoming roommate. Now, the last thing I'll share with you today is if nothing else, if you get to learn one thing from this video is I want you to be irresistibly unique. There is no other human like you. There's no one else who has the qualities you bring to the table and the embodiment of all the elements that make you an irreplaceable human being. He needs to see that. If you show up in a way that's strong and unique and self-expressing, he doesn't see that. Please do yourself a favor. Move on. I promise you somebody else will see that greatness and step up all the way. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful. If it is, it would be in the world to me and my channel because this is the way I can grow and reach more women who need help. Is please click like and subscribe. It really matters. It really makes a difference. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.